Time now for Tana's Takes, and we are starting off hot. Since we had the opportunity to talk to Brian Robinson Jr. this week, his goal is a 1,000 yards at a minimum, at a bare minimum, and eight touchdowns. Give us your take. I think the last back in uh, EB's offense that rushed for a 1,000 yards was Kareem Hunt. I believe he had 1,300 yards. I see it in your future, B-Rob. He can get it. I'm about, to, I'm about to use my horse on this run, one. Run, 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 son. But I don't know, because I think Gibby, Antonio Gibson, might have that year. Yeah, I mean, I think B-Rob's perfectly capable of doing that. Yep. But I wonder, because, you know, it, it, traditionally, they don't share the wealth in terms of carries, exactly. right? It's like multiple and, guys getting touches. And so. that's something that I saw, too, also. You know, these guys share the wealth mm -hmm. pretty well in this offense. But he always used that one. And, and yeah. when that one can go like B-Rob can go. Trust me, he can right. get his best shot. Yeah, in talking to B-Rob, he understands he wasn't in entirely healthy last season given mm -hmm. everything that happened he feels like this year he has the opportunity to do even more in what he wants to because he can come in healthy and take that game to the next level finish those runs and I think he'll be able to get to that 1k mm -hmm. as well with skulls release on the horizon Santana give us your take who's going to be the best matchup for Washington this season <sighs> the best matchup is going to be the people that we, we seem not to beat we can't beat them <laughs> in our division the Giants, Giants. the g -men. I think that's going to be our best matchup you know we always talk about the Cowboys, the Eagles, we find a way to, you know, even the series out all the time with those guys. The Giants just seem to have our number. Yeah, I, go I, I, I think that's fire. Man. I think because like they, for whatever reason, man, they just had our number the past mm -hmm. couple years, right? And yeah. even though our roster's been better, they've had our number. So I, I like that, Tanner. I want to add two emojis: a cold <laughs> turd, a cold turd, because he is right. But guess what? <laughs> Until we get that monkey out of my back, we cannot yes. move forward. You are right, my friend. I just right. wanted to put that out. I had nothing to do with what he said. Listen, he's going to be a part of most of my answers right here. I figured when we brought that out that that would be a favorite of Fred. And also what you're telling me is you don't pick up after your dog. No, no, no. I don't. I know. It's, it's for uh, Earth. Let's, let's carry on. Let's get back on schedule here. Uh, rookie minicamp coming up. Any advice uh, to the rookies for their first season? You know, I had got some advice. Uh, my first rookie minicamp, and then it kind of trickled over into the uh, training camp. And Wayne Cabell was telling me to slow down, young fella. And I was thinking, I was scratching my head like, is he telling me that because he kind of see mm. that I'm out here and I'm cutting up grass? But no, I learned very early that he was basically telling me to gather what I'm getting, the information that mm -hmm. I'm getting, and basically process everything before I go out there and try to run be speed racer. And it was helpful. I kind of used that throughout my career, and I'm glad he gave me that insight. Yeah, I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a crown for Corbett there. I think that's yeah. great advice. You know, yeah. and all those old heads when they got when they got something to say, you should listen to them. And that mm -hmm. that seems counterintuitive, mm -hmm. but obviously that's super helpful. Those guys get going so fast, they're yeah. trying so hard, it's so important to them. Yeah. Take a breath, digest it. You with it? Fine, <laughs> but I had to bring it back with a turn. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, fire what Wayne Corbett said, but he was hating on the young <laughs> Santana because Santana was faster than easy at the time he was hating. Oh, that's my dog. Uh, I, I'm sure you all watch. Speaking of whatever you love for your emoji, uh, the Kentucky Derby was just last weekend, which means it's that time to talk about horses and racing and underdogs. Uh, Mage won at 15 to 1 odds. Who's going to be your underdog this season that's due and primed for a breakout? Yeah, personally, I, I didn't know who Mage was, so I had to ask questions about who is that. <laughs> but uh, I think the underdog, and this is not, has nothing to do with our division, has nothing to do with us as a whole. Um, Denver Broncos. Yeah. Denver Broncos. Peyton, Sean Payton alone is going to bring fire to this off to the offense, yeah. to Russell Wilson. And just, I believe that we expected so much from Russell last year. He just didn't have the right coach in place. So I mm -hmm. see the Denver Broncos. Well, mine is going to be Emmanuel so Fools. So All right, ridiculous. Emmanuel Fools We're not is talking the underdog. About We're not talking no, about I'm just saying, because they say he's 170 pounds. He ain't going to be able to make it. That's what I think about what they say. Horse. <laughs> Turd! All right, at the end of the day, a manual fool. I actually was going to say that's a fire, man. That blew my mind because I wasn't even thinking about that. And I was like, man, Peyton's back. Russell Wilson's going to play so much better. I love that take. Tana, excellent job. Don't. What we going to do with this dude? He here, just, man. He's, he's, he's trying hey, to hijack your second. He's trying to hijack your second. I'm going to ask for the next show. We, play, we don't want Fred to doing? be a part of it. Right? <laughs> I can't have Fred on Tana takes no more. That right there is a hot take. <laughs> Fred is being cut from Tana's takes. Uh, <laughs> give, me a fire, give me like two fire emojis for that one. <laughs> the last one, the coronation of King Charles III took place over the weekend. Who is football's royal I'm going to say the names and y'all finish it off. Archie. Man. Peyton yes. and Eli. All right. All right. They are, but we do have the Long family also. Yeah. With but Chris, 
How but we... it's something about the quarterbacks. When you have a quarterback, your father's a quarterback, yeah. and the two sons after our quarterbacks, quarterbacks are royalty in their own. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. And those guys are out there. Don't have great kids. Yeah. Like our kids, yeah. you ain't good as me. I, I tell you every day, but mine, I gotta pull hell just to tell them to go outside and work out. So trust me, the manis. Yeah, I'm with it. King, man. That's a king take by him. Yeah. Uh, you got the poop about Archie is from Mississippi. Oh, don't start with that, man. Tana is the king. Sounds like your sons are still princes. <laughs> yeah. A little bit going there. They're getting there. Those are Tana's <laughs> takes. Somebody please take that emoji from Fred. Hell he man. is cut off from it. No more. We hope you enjoyed Tana's takes.